Hello everyone. Uh, coming soon, I want to introduce you to the iMerge Precipitation Extractor, which is a web application that extracts iMerge GPM precipitation data across the, uh, the globe. Uh, so anywhere around you can extract this precipitation for point or for area or polygon, depends on how you digitize them. Uh, but before we go into how these two will work, I just want to tell, talk about the source of this data. Uh, so we have a link here that describes this data. So when you click on this link, it takes you to the uh, to the uh, NASA website, uh, the NASA Air Data Source, and then uh, it talks about this uh, uh, kind of data. It's a 30 minute uh, uh, point, 0.1 degree by 0.1 degree, and then uh, have a good coverage, uh, global coverage. And then this data have been accessed uh, using online uh, data sources like the at search or Giovanni, uh, which is the uh, the most common approach there. Uh, but we we're, what we're trying to do here is to create uh, a tool that is more interactive and quick for users to. Uh, it will have several functionalities for users to be able to operate. Uh, especially users who are not uh, program, uh, who are not uh, into the programming world, and just want a quick way to get precipitation data for their research. This uh, iMerge uh, GPM precipitation extractor is very important. And just to mention that this GPM, the iMerge, is available having uh, since 2000, and uh, we have data up to date. Especially if you use the daily product, right? So we are going to be using the daily product for this work, and. Um, to talk about um, uh, why this tool was was important, how these two differ from other two, uh, you have the ability in this tool to uh, see all uh, your study areas, your countries, load at the same time, and then uh, you can do more. Like you can calculate the normalized precipitation, and then you can also see the storm. You can track storms with this tool. And then you can extract precipitation from the storm. So there's a lot of these two we are finding in the future. We are see building this tool, it's just, uh, it just fascinating to talk about what these two can do. But just for an intro, right now, um, we can um, see all the country outline. Uh, so I check the country box, and then I can change the map type to map, or I can decide to use satellite. Uh, so the base map right now, I'm using the map. Uh, and then, so for clear clarity, and uh, yeah, so users can go ahead at this point to, uh, to digitize uh, what they want. Uh, and um, to do that, I'm just going to pick my polygon so I can digitize. I want to center it in the African area so I can just digitize the African continent and then uh, making sure that the uh, majority of the countries uh, in that area are, are, are covered. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And um, I'm going to leave out uh, Madagascar. Uh, you can be as precise as possible. You can zoom in and be as precise as possible. Um, we're trying to expand it to, to let users to be able to import their own shape file in the future as soon as the API becomes available. But right now, uh, what, you can, what we can do is to let users to digitize their own watershed or their own country or their own study area, or they can drop a point. So we're going to talk about that in the future. But right now, I just want to show you what we have. And I can turn off the country. And for now, I can select the date. I can go back in time. I want to save the session from 2013, and I still want to see that 7 2013. Uh, but I want to see between uh, the 4th, the 11th of April to the 9th of um, April. Actually, I'm going to just to focus say one month, uh, April to May, uh, 11th of April to 11th of May, and then I can extract the 30 minutes precipitation uh, data, and then we can see. Um, what data is available. So the output is telling us the area process, that is the, the digitized area. Um, we have about uh, um, 100 and, uh, yeah, over, over 11 million square mile, right, to 12 million square mile there. Right, and then, yeah, so we have the precipitation, uh, which is the the time series precipitation, and then you can download the GeoTIFF uh, raster, which can then be imported in ArcGIS for use for, for other uh, research. But what the, G, the, the, the data you we are going to export here is a weighted um, 
uh, average, right, is the weighted mean precipitation for the time period over, and then um, yeah, for the time period, and that's what we have there. Why well, this is a, this is the time series of the the weighted mean precipitation for the entire area. So to be specific, you can use the point, and we're going to talk about that later on in the next video. But thank you.